And of course, this match is on Canyon Ambush. And, oh, we're going to get started here very early. Let's go ahead and take a look at the loadouts here. Ship number one is the Sundari Baka. It is piloted by Luharis. It is a squid with a Gatling front banshee side and a mine launcher back. Ship number two is the Zaf's Meat Bicycle, piloted by Magic Metal Man. It is a double gap pyramidian with a banshee and a flare side. Take it away. In the blue team, we have the Y Disable, piloted by Mighty Cab. It has a gat it's a squid with Gat Banshee Carinade. And we also have When You Can Kill, which is a Pyramidian piloted by Sunstrom. Gat Mortar on the front, Banshee Flare on the side. And we start off with a joust between When You Can Kill and the Zaps Meat Bicycle. However, uh, the When You Can Kill goes above and over him here. And they change to the, uh, to the squid, and there's a hole break on the squid. And a hole break on the Zaps Meat Bicycle. Zaps Meat Bicycle appears to be the main target here of both blue ships. Predator Island, of course, is in blue, and the Baby Zeal Club is in red. Baby Zeal Club about to go down 1-0. In fact, they do. Predator Island now up 1-0. Not what they wanted here. First kill advantage does not matter at this point. Yes, you do have the first kill going to blue, but again, it does not matter. Baby Zeal Club must win this match outright. Meanwhile, the Sundari Baka engaging with the Y Disable. As there is a hull break on the Sundari Baka, looks like the Y Disable is winning this 1v1 right now. Sundari Baka has decided to regroup, as the Zaf's Meat Bicycle has respawned. When you can kill moving in with that, uh, looks like they are using a lock Gatling. I'll take a look at that in a moment, as the Sundari Baka has almost been killed in a 2v1 scenario. They are almost down here. They are tanking that hull. They are down. It is 2-0 in favor of Predator Island. Zaps Meat Bicycle looking to... Oh, that is a that is a Magic Metal Man special right there with the double gat ram. 2-1. They are on the board here. However, Y Disable has the hull break on the Zaps Meat Bicycle. There's the hull break. There's the kill. 3-1 in favor of Predator Island. Let's now update the math for you here. As now Predator Island is up 3-1. Baby Zeal Club must now run the table or else they are eliminated from SCS 114. They must win 5-3. That is their only way of getting into the Grand Finals. If they do not do so, if Predator Island picks up one more kill, or if Baby Zeal Club does not pick up four kills, then Baby Zeal Club is eliminated. Storm Riders will be in the Grand Finals. If that doesn't happen. What I'm basically saying, folks, is I'm saying there's a chance. It's not a good chance, but I'm saying there's a chance. Meanwhile, let's look at this squid right over here. This is the squid piloted by Mighty Keb. This is the squid that he, uh, that Mighty Keb took when he basically struck fear into, uh, into the hearts and minds of our of our viewers the last SCS. Of course, for those of you who watched last SCS, uh, Mighty Keb did something very, very interesting. He brought back the close range mobula, the double gap mortar mobula, with surprising efficiency last time. Meanwhile, the Y Disable has run straight into the metal bis meat bicycle, a 2v1 scenario, and he has gone down. It is 3 2. Red has picked up a kill. When you can kill is not going to be burning out of here as fast as they possibly can, not expecting their ally to uh, bump the red ships and die. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a uh, unexpected tactical error there. Or it could have been a, it, or maybe it was a intentional suicide. I don't know. Although if. Predator Island really wanted to be just complete, go complete and other utter gamesmanship. They could, if they wanted to, and I hope this doesn't happen, by the way. But they could, if they wanted to, absolutely throw the match and put, um, and basically put 
um, uh, the Baby Zeal Club into the Grand Finals. They could if they wanted to. Of course, that would be very frowned upon uh, amongst the uh, competitive community. Meanwhile, both sides are jockeying for position on the map. Looks like Y Disable has decided to move up here. They've moved the squid up, and now the Pyramidian is looking to reposition as well. It looks like this is what they had in mind. They looked at, they're looking to do their split push tactics again. The only downside to their split push tactics last time was they ran into both, uh, both of the Baby Zeal Club ships at point blank range. That is the worst case scenario for the squid in that situation. Looks like the squid has moved by, and he is picking up spots. So the Y Disable has been spotted, and he has picked up both spots. In fact, the When You Can Kill has also picked up a spot. Here we go. Engagement has started. When You Can Kill engaging the Sundari Baka. Meanwhile, the Jousting Meat Bicycle looking to move in. Sundari Baka has been hole broken. They have to tank it. Or else they are eliminated from... Oh, and there it is! There's the kill that will eliminate Baby Zeal Club from SCS number 114. Meanwhile, the Zaps meet by Sickle. Unfortunately for them, die to the double team. And that will do it for the round robin phase of SCS number 114. As Baby Zeal Club has been eliminated, they go down 5-2 to the defending champs, uh, Predator Island. That means that we will be setting up our grand finals match here in just a moment between Predator Island and and Storm Riders.